This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today and find out how to diversify your portfolio for your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pin in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report Today. February 29th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. The Texas Panhandle wildfires and evacuations are going nuts, folks. Smokehouse Creek Fire has burned more than 1 million acres, making it the largest in state's history. The largest ever in Texas. A massive wildfire burning across the Texas Panhandle has scorched more than 1 million acres, making it the largest recorded blaze in state history, officials have said. The Smokehouse Creek Fire is one of five active wildfires burning in the northern part of the state, according to the Texas A&M Forest Service. The blazes have caused thousands of evacuations and power outages and left at least one person dispatched. There are five wildfires currently burning across the Texas Panhandle seen here. According to the Forest Service, these are the five wildfires burning in North Texas. The Smokehouse Creek Fire has burned more than one million acres and is only 3% contained. The Windy Deuce Fire has burned 142,000 acres and is 50% contained. The Grapevine Creek Fire has burned 30,000 acres and is 60% contained. The Magenta Fire burned 2,500 acres and is 65% contained. The 687 Reamer Fire has burned more than 2,000 acres and is only 10% contained. The Smokehouse Creek Fire surpassed Texas's previous largest wildfire on record, the East Amarillo Complex Fire, which dispatched dozens of people as it torched more than 907,000 acres in March of 2006. Heavy winds, which we are experiencing now, extremely dry grass and unseasonably warm temperatures across the Panhandle region have caused each of these fires to spread quickly, fire officials have said. CNN reported that Joyce Blankenship, 83, passed at her house in Stennett, Texas, Wednesday as the Smokehouse Creek fire swept through it. The house was gone, her grandson Nathan Blankenship told the news outlet. There was no way she could have gotten out. Quote, Texans are urged to limit activities that could create sparks and take precautions to keep their loved ones safe, Texas Governor Greg Abbott said in a statement Tuesday when he issued a disaster declaration for 60 counties to allow fire response resources to be quickly deployed to areas affected by these wildfires. Thousands remain without power in parts of the Panhandle region, though reports of power outages have been declining. Residents in Fritch, a city of about 2,000 located in Hutchinson and Moore counties, were without water and power. The city pleaded in a Facebook post from industrial generator to help get our water back up and working. Residents have been posting welfare updates in a public Facebook group through which locals have been coordinated assistance to move their livestock, borrow equipment, and find and provide shelter and make donations. Several towns and communities were under mandatory evacuation in the Amarillo region, according to the National Weather Service. Residents in other towns had the choice to evacuate. The Windy Deuce Fire destroyed about half of the structures in Borger and Furch. In Furch, more than 40 houses were damaged and parts of the city had to be evacuated. In Borger, many of the city's 13,000 residents said they felt trapped in the city itself. It was like a ring of fire around us. Around Borger, Adrian Hill told the Associated Press, there was no way out. Oklahomans in the northwestern part of the state, which shares a border with Texas, have also been forced to leave their homes due to the Smokehouse Creek Fire, which jumped across state lines on Tuesday. 
There are several other fires in that area as well in Oklahoma. It has already burned more than 30,000 acres in Oklahoma. And now for the crazy news. On Tuesday night, Carson County's Pantex plant, the U.S. main nuclear weapons facility, briefly evacuated non-essential staff out of an abundance of caution, said Leif Pendengraf, a spokesperson for the National Nuclear Security Administration Production Office at Pantex. The facility, which is largely responsible for assembling and disassembling the U.S. nuclear arsenal, is about 13 miles away from the Windy Deuce Fire in Moore County. The nuclear weapons plant said Wednesday it was open for normal day shift operations. The Smokehouse Creek Fire was just 3% contained as of Wednesday evening, according to the Texas A&M Forest Service. But crews battling the flames have made more progress on the smaller wildfires. The Windy Deuce Fire, which has burned about 142,000 acres, is about 50% contained. In Gray County, firefighters have contained about 60% of the Grapevine Creek Fire, which has destroyed 30,000 plus acres. The Juliet Pass Fire in Armstrong County was largely under control with around 100% containment, but an estimated 3,000 acres was scorched. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at a fire map and see what it looks like. I would like to start off by saying we have a lot of fires early in this season. It's still February, and they're actually in places that we've not seen them before for some time at least. We don't see fires in Washington, Oregon, or California. We're seeing fires in the Central Plains. We both have red flag warnings and fire warnings all throughout Colorado, all throughout Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and New Mexico. Red flag warnings throughout the Central Plains, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, etc. Right? Even parts of Minnesota and South Dakota. What we see are a lot of fires here on the Gulf Coast. A large fire here in Nebraska, which is almost contained, 70,000 acres. And this is what they're showing. They're not marking it as a huge fire, but this is what they're showing as the Smokehouse Creek incident with over a million acres actually scorched and only being 3% contained. You'll see that it did hop over the border into Oklahoma, and Oklahoma has a few other fires that they're dealing with as well. And these are some of the other fires that we mentioned here. Now, this is all within a fire warning here in yellow. Unbelievable to see such a large fire warning. And then again, we have a red flag warning in the central plains here in the U.S. With that said, guys, it's going to be a heck of a year with fire starting this early. If fire start down here in the big thicket, well, we're going to have a lot of problems because this is a very large area and it's just about Kindle, it's so dry out there right now. You can see small fires already starting. When we get some big ones going, well, let's just say there's going to be heck to pay. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in bizarro world. God bless.